expand and simplify polynomials with fractions. I'm Anil Kumar and let us go through the steps to simplify this polynomial. 2 over 3 times within brackets half x minus 1 fourth of y take away half of 3x plus 1, one third of y. So let's expand applying distributive property. That means we'll multiply 2 over 3 with half x first and then take away 2 over 3 times 1 fourth of y minus times plus is minus so we get minus half times 3x minus times plus is negative again negative half times one third of y so that is the first step by application of distributive property Now we need to combine the like terms. Like terms are the terms with similar variable parts. So which is x and these are the y terms, right? So what we will do is we'll multiply the fractions and write down the like terms together. So half 2 over 3 times half of x, well this can be simplified. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we are left with 1 third of x. And this x term is 3 over 2. We get minus 3 over 2x. For the y term, we can actually simplify. Dividing them by 2, we get 1. And here we get 2. So we multiply and get 1 in the numerator, 6 in the denominator for y. The coefficient of y in this case is minus 1 over 6. 1 over 6y. So that is how we get our polynomial. Let's combine the like terms. Now in the first case, for x we have 1 third and 3 over 2. To add 1 third and 3 over 2 is kind of like this. Let me show you how 1 over 3 minus 3 over 2, this is the x part, right? Minus, here we can write the y part. So it is negative. So if I take negative y common, I can make when I take negative over 6, all the sign will change. It becomes 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 of y, correct? Now, in this case, when you have to add, you have to make common denominators. Denominator common should be 6. So, it becomes 2 minus 9, right? So, we have 2 over 6 minus 9 over 6. That is the x part. And in this case, 6 and 6 are the common denominators. Numerator will be 2. So 2 over 6 for y. Now let's do it. 2 minus 9 is minus 7. So we get minus 7 over 6x. And 2 over 6 can be simplified. We can write this as minus 1 over 3y. It's a good idea to always write your fractions as either proper or mixed numbers. So minus 7 over 6 can be written as minus 1, 1 over 6x minus 1 over 3y. So that is the solution for the given problem. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.